Imagine having an expert right by your side, ready to guide you whenever you want to learn new software, someone to answer your questions instantly and help you learn by doing. Well, now you can. And the best part? It's absolutely free. Say goodbye to spending hours watching YouTube tutorials. This AI will guide you through the process, helping you learn faster than ever before. Let's dive in and get started. This is Pervez Durrani and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. To explore the capabilities of Google AI Studio, start by opening your browser, searching for Google AI Studio, and clicking on the first link to access the official page. After signing in, you'll find an intuitive interface where you can interact with Gemini, Google's AI Assistant. Gemini supports real-time communication through text, voice, video, or screen sharing, making it an exceptional tool for tackling complex tasks. For example, if you're working with a PDF application and need to add your e-signature, you can share your screen with Gemini and request step-by-step -step guidance. Let's ask Google AI Studio. Hey Google, can you help me with this document? Sure, I can help with that. The document appears to be a sick leave application. Do you have any specific questions about it? I want to add my signature to this document. So can you guide me through the process? Yes, I can guide you through the steps for adding your e-signature. First, click on the e-sign option in the toolbar at the top. Then, choose the option to create a new signature. After that, you can either type, draw, or upload an image of your signature. Finally, place it in the appropriate area of the document. Let me know if you need further help with each step. Okay, you can choose the option to type your signature in the window that just opened. Alternatively, you could also choose the draw option to draw it. Which method do you want to proceed with? I will go with type, and I already have typed it. Yes, it appears you've added your signature to the document. Is there anything else you would like to do with it? Thank you. I am done with adding the signature in my application. Now, could you please guide me through the process to highlight the subject? Sure, I can help with that. To highlight the subject of the document, you will want to select the Highlight tool, which is located near the top left of the window, just to the left of the Add Signature button. After selecting it, you can drag it over the area you want to highlight. I see you've highlighted the subject in blue. Is there anything else I can help with? Yes, I want to change the color of highlight. What's the step? You can change the highlight color by selecting the highlighted area, and then you will see a little pop-up menu that allows you to change the highlight color. Thank you. Finally, I changed the color. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? As you watched the astonishing results, and Google AI Studio helped us to do things we are not familiar at the beginning. This is not over yet. We have more feature to demonstrate ahead. Therefore, watch till last. Now, suppose we have this data and want to extract specific information. Let's take help from Google AI Studio. Just share your screen and begin the interaction. Let me ask, hey Google, can you help me with this data? Yes, I can help you with this data. What would you like to do with it? Could you please let me know what this data is all about? This data appears to be a sales record. It includes information like the order date, region, manager, salesperson, item, unit sold, unit price, and the total sale amount. Thank you. Now I want you to guide me through the process to sum all the unit prices. To find the sum of the unit prices, you can use the SUM function in Excel. First, select the cell where you want the total to appear. Then type equals sum, select all the unit prices and close the parenthesis with, lastly, press enter. Are you sure this sum is correct? Yes, it appears the sum is correct. The total of all the unit prices is 24,983.50. Thank you for this support. Could you please guide me through the process to create a stunning graph of three columns, including items, unit, and unit price? Okay, I can guide you through creating a graph. First, select the columns for item, units, and unit price. 
Then go to the Insert tab on the ribbon and choose a chart type, such as a bar graph or a line graph. You can then customize the graph as needed. Did I carry these steps right? Or is it fine graph? Yes, that graph shows the items, the units sold, and the unit price. It seems correct. Now please tell me the steps to download this specific graph. To download the graph, right-click on it and select Save as Picture. Then you can choose the location and file format and click Save. In this way, we can use Google AI Studio to tackle our day-to-day -day problems without the need for specific tutorials. It provides real-time assistance and delivers effective solutions seamlessly. Now, suppose we have this presentation and want to make changes in this. So, let's seek help from Google AI Studio. Let me ask the steps to download this PPT as PDF file. Sure, I can help with that. To download your presentation as a PDF file, first click on the File tab in the top left corner of the PowerPoint window. Then select Save As and choose the PDF option as file type. After that, you can choose a name and folder to save the PDF file. Is there anything else you need help with? Thanks. Now guide to replace this image in my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, to replace that image, first you must select it. Then, navigate to the Picture Format tab and find the Change Picture button. Click on it, and from there you can choose a new image to use. Does that make sense? Great, it seems that you have found the Change Picture option, then you can select where you want to import the new image from. Okay, it looks like you have selected stock images as the source, now you can search or scroll through them to find a picture that you want to use. It appears that the image has been changed. Is there anything else I can help with? Yes, I want to change the design of my presentation. Okay, I understand you'd like me to guide you through the steps to change the design of the entire presentation. To start, what specific aspect of the design would you like to change first? For example, are you looking to change the background, font, or something else? Yes, I am interested to change the background only. All right, you want to change the background. To do this, go to the Design tab on the ribbon at the top of the window. Once you're there, you should see options to change the background style. After clicking on the Design tab, look in the Themes section on the left side of the ribbon. You'll see a variety of small images. Those are the background styles you can choose from. If you would like to try a different look, you can select one from the Themes section. You've successfully changed the background. Is there anything else you would like to change about your presentation's design? The Google AI Studio just blown my mind as it can assist the user in real time, and the best thing, it's completely free. Now, we don't need to watch any tutorial to learn anything since this AI tool has completely changed how to tackle our tasks. Try Google AI Studio and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Besides, don't forget to subscribe Guru Tech Solutions for more AI-related content. See you soon in next video. Bye.